Hello guys, I'm Tom. Welcome to Electrofag's YouTube channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing Aphex Green Apple. So guys, let's jump straight into it. Today, I'm reviewing Aphex. It's the Green Apple one. There's about six or so flavors in the range. Um, I picked this one out. I had a big cabinet full of juice to choose from for today. And I picked this one out. Some of my favorite flavors are in that list. But this one, something a bit different. I'm not normally a fan of apple. I think generally apple is horrid. It never, never tastes good. This one though, slightly different. I tried this in the store and it's always intrigued me. I've never quite dove into buying a bottle just yet because of my definite dislike of apple. Um, but it's 70-30 liquid. That's generally my preference. Uh, I go for 70-30 because there's a bit more flavor. If you go for something like an 80-20, it's a bit thick. Yeah, you get good clouds, but not the best flavor. So I want good flavor, bang for me buck sort of thing. Um, this one's the green apple. Uh, like I say, they do a pink lemonade. They do a cherry cola. They do a gummy bear uh, and I think a tropical top of my head. I should really have had the, the range in front of me, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's the juice, really. I'm gonna give it a try. I've got a couple of devices with me today. Um, I'm a bit of a, a mech head. I've got but, uh, Pulse 24 on a Pulse BF box mod. A little squonker. I have cheated a little bit. I filled me, me a squonk bottle up beforehand, uh, but I'll drip onto this too. I've got parallel uh, dual coils. Uh, they are a 24 ga a 22 gauge. They are 22 gauge nichrome. Napped around a three mil bit. And this one, don't ask me what coils these are, I forget. Um, handmade staggered uh, Fuse Clapton, they are. Um, all NI80, and I think it was a two and a half mil bit. Uh, reason I've gone for the two different devices is that one gives you a lot more kind of in-depth flavor and that's more of a cloud choker. So I want to kind of get the, the point of view of the, the liquid from both sides of the, the table. Um, yeah, so we'll jump into trying it. Let's drop a little bit on my hand and... See, it's, it's not a strong apple. For me, it's... When you're a child, you, you get those little bubble gum in a pack for about 10 pence. You get the little goo inside. You get the apple flavor. I think it was Hubba Bubba, maybe? I can't remember. It tastes very much like that. A very sweet apple. Um, very sweet fake apple. Not that's a bad thing. Um, it's avoiding that kind of crisp apple, acidic kind of flavor that I do not get along with. Um, it's nice. It's not overly sweet. I can't see it being too bad on coils. I mean, to say that, I've been running for an hour or so, I've been tanning it. And my coils are pretty clean. My cotton's nice and clean as well. Don't know if you guys can see. I do need to polish my mod. That's a little bit shameful. Let's pretend that wasn't there. Um, yeah, so let's strip that on and see what we think. Yeah, it's not too too strong of a flavour. It's not offensive. It's not too pungent. You'd be vaping it, and someone next to you be like, "Oh no, that's too much." It's nice and subtle, it's nice and sweet. It's got that hint of the, the kind of sweet, fake apple kind of flavor. It's nice, I have a flavor banger anyway. Um, let's throw it to one side. I think it actually tastes nicer. This isn't the flavor banger, this is just for chucking clouds. And it actually tastes quite nice on that. It brings the kind of sweetness of the VG out. Makes it a nice, smooth liquid. No, I like that. I mean, considering I'm not a big fan of apple, I'm gonna give that a solid seven. Easy. It's a really nice liquid. Definitely not the sort of thing I normally go for. A bit of a menthol addict as well, so I'd probably end up sticking a bit of WS23 in it. And that'd be really, really pleasant. Mm. 
yeah, anyway, guys, what do you think? Leave us a comment below. Um, subscribe so you can see some more of our juice reviews in the future. See you soon.